Well, the idea of algae to fuel is not 25 years old, it's about 60 or 70 years old. The idea was out there when the first person really found an alga in nature that had a high oil content. The comment was basically, hey, this thing has a lot of oil, and the oil composition is, looks, looks like crude petroleum. All algae to fuel project actually started you know, over 25 years ago when this lab was contracted by the DOE, Department of Energy, to collect, isolate, and characterize algae you know, from southwestern of the United States for their growth and oil content. Our research efforts are quite broad. It starts with finding the right algae, uh, taking those algae, uh, evaluating them in the laboratory uh, for their growth potential and uh, lipid or oil yield, and then uh, moving them outdoors if they look good enough as a producer to outdoor facilities, including ponds and bioreactors, to see what their growth potential is under natural conditions here at the Polytechnic campus. It's a good feedstock for fuel for several reasons. One is that they actually grow faster than most other crop plants. Uh, they also not only grow faster, but they accumulate large quantities of biomass quickly. And the oil content of an algal cell can be up to 50, 60 percent. Using raw desert or using other types of land uh, that's set aside, already been developed for other things, but no longer is commercially feasible, is great for the algae. Compare with a crop plant like soybean, or like a corn, an algae really requires small fractions of water otherwise required by agricultural crop. Algae not only can produce biofuels, but also can remove carbon dioxide from power plant and other sources of CO2 emissions. And then that's how algae can be part of the solution for the future you know, carbon capture and the beneficial use and algae can also rapidly uptake and remove nutrients from wastewater. So, so that's why algae is a great potential solution for wastewater treatment. The thing to remember about the algae is that it's a renewable resource. Again, it, it just keeps growing. We keep harvesting it and using it. And it's a green technology. We're using sunlight and solar energy, and we're using generally waste materials to grow it. I think the future uh, will look something like this, where there will be uh, algae farms, in some cases uh, more community organized, in the sense that they will be facilities that will serve a particular location, uh, community, a city, and so on. We're expecting in the next five to ten years, you will see major progress made in this field, and you will see algae-based biofuel can be part of the future fuel solution. We know a lot more today than we knew two weeks ago, or a month ago, or a year ago. And so it's really dealing with the process of how you're going to grow them on scale, how you're going to harvest the algae on scale, how you're going to extract the oil on scale, and then get it where it needs to be for refinement and so on. Really, algae-based biofuel it's not one single field, but it is a multidisciplinary field that requires the diverse expertise from all directions. And industry, national lab, universities, companies are critical to collaborate with each other to realize this great potential. We have a lot of bright people trying to look at all the challenges associated with this uh, technology. And as a result, I think, uh, I think we will be able to produce enough algae oil to uh, make a difference in terms of transportation fuel needs.